Yo, so it's been a long time since I've made a, a video, a YouTube thing. I just want to talk about like why I think a website for your webcomic is a great idea and why you, if you haven't considered doing one, if you're not convinced to make one, why you should and I'll give you a tool, a really useful tool to help you do that but it's, it's called Comic Fury. Like I'm not even, <laughs> we'll get into it. I've seen a few videos pop up on my YouTube feed talking about what um like why trying to convince bait people basically to say this is why you should delete social media and just have a website and that might work for some people but not for me let's just talk about the website for starters making a website is a good idea if you have a webcomic because it's like a long term if it's if it's a long term project like mine is like a really long webcomic or a big story you're trying to make you can build on the website over time so just think in about five years when you built when once you've built this website and in about two or five years time how much pages will be on there like an archive similar to webtoon and tapas but a bit more customized to how you want it to look some of my favorite webcomic websites uh inspirations like back a day were lack of daisy cats and bittersweet candy ball and there's numerous other examples as well out there you can have a character page an archive page information about the webcomic or an about page links to your store it's easier to put external links on there too i feel like you have to like if you have a webcomic for example that doesn't update all the time like every week or like a consistent schedule like mine it's really helpful to have a website so here's auntie comic in its current state it has a home page which just takes you to the latest page that's been updated the archive page and i have all the covers visible for people to look at the characters page which is like still being built up so you have like all the main characters information about them right here and i can update that as more characters get revealed and specifically with the character page think about down the line when the story progresses and people are like they really want to learn more about the character they can come to the character page and they can see more info about the character like their gender pronouns age a little bit of like a brief background if you want to give that it's really up to you and at some point i also want to add a um what do you call it a well building page so i have like a map of auntie and the locations that are featured in the story and a background about the you know the locations and stuff you could do you could do whatever you want you can showcase the world you can have a page for a specific page for the magic system if you want there's a lot you can do so much you don't think you can really you can have a characters page or something like that on webtoon and tapas like if you're clever about the way that you update things but like i said if you're slow like me it doesn't really feel the same i also have an about page which goes over the anti themes and a little synopsis and you know i can add on to this as time goes on with more information about the story as well i also have a link to my shop which is down right now because i'm poor and an extras page which so i can use this extras page to promote other things like my friends comics or other comics that i really enjoy reading or other links there's also my patreon a link to my Kofi, and my other social media pages that i'm the most active on also this has like a scroll view so if you read on mobile you can read on that instead of the desktop view and this is through comic fury you can customize it however you want with a little bit of coding you can do a little bit extra stuff but i gave up on coding and was like f it i'm just gonna use Comet Fury is like default customization things and they're really useful if you just want a basic layout for the website. I would highly recommend it if you want like a dedicated site for your comic and, and the project that you're doing. Now back to one of the points that I was going over before where I was talking about how videos were popping up on my feed about you know reasons why you should delete social media and why you should like just make a website. I personally don't think that deleting social media for me at least is beneficial because social media is a great networking tool yeah if you don't have a big audience off social media it's going to be very hard to drive traffic to your site unless you network outside of social media so most of my opportunities have been from social media so freelance opportunities comic work illustration work commissions i did a comic for summer four studios last year and they, they found me through social media. I don't think that I'm personally well known enough 
to get away with just deleting social media and only uploading to my website unless i have maybe a newsletter but then you have to get people to sign up to the newsletter and how do you promote the newsletter you know see and yeah like i said i don't know how to go outside of social media without the audience it's definitely possible but social media is quite a big influence or has quite a big like impact or influence on what you know what people see outside of if they're obviously if they're not on social media it's a little bit different but yeah i'm just rambling at this point i think but yeah definitely if you're considering making a website for your comic try comic fury out if that's not to your liking there are other resources you can use you can check out the resources on the cartoonist co-op even for other ways of building a website for your comic if that is something that you're interested in doing another thing that i forgot to mention when recording this was that you can link a custom domain to your comic for your website so i bought a custom domain from google domains which is now squarespace for 10 pounds a year and all you have to do is message the administrator of Comic Fury and he'll link the domain for you. So I have anticomic.com. Like, it's perfect. You have so much creative control when you make a website that the, the benefits just outweigh the negatives, in my opinion. The only thing that I could see being stressful, obviously, is just updating that. I'd still recommend updating Webtoon and Tapas just because a lot of people use it. But yeah, happy, happy creating. I'll try and make some more videos soon. I have a lot to talk about and I think I should just get to it. So let's see how this goes. I think it's going to be fun. I think this is going to be fun to document my webcomic making process. So yeah, thanks for listening. Don't forget you can read the first four chapters of Auntie on Webtoon, Tapas and AuntieComic.com. You can also subscribe to my Patreon if you want to support me making this because this is a really long thing and I would love to support. Don't forget to leave a like on the video too and subscribe if you want to, if you want to, if you want to, <laughs> if you want to hear more from me, goddamn.